Welcome to our video. Let's dive in. First, completely uninstall the DS4 Windows software that you currently have installed. If you have important settings, back up your settings before proceeding. Follow these steps. The profile name may appear here as your default. Now open the start menu and type percent app data percent. Select DS4 window from here and delete. Now download the latest DS4 window software. The link is in the description. Extract to where you want to install. WinRAR software is required for this. The link is in the description. Open DS4 Windows. Follow my instructions. Be sure to keep your controller plugged in. Install all these settings. They may appear slightly different from what you see on your screen because I have installed them before. Install it. As I mentioned before, if you have backup DS4 Windows settings, delete this. Otherwise, skip this section and change the DS4 Windows settings that I will show next. Follow my instructions. If you prefer, copy all these settings. Okay, now let's set the controller input delay to zero. Although it currently shows as zero because I have already set it up, yours will look like this. Also in the description, there is a link to download this software.
extract to where you want to install. WinRAR software is required for this. Follow these steps. Select All. You want to click Install Service. If there was no pop-up, you're good. But if you did get a pop-up with an error message, you'll need to disable Safe Mode in the BIOS. Click Yes for now and proceed. Select your controller from here, then click Install Service again. Click the highest one there. 8000 for this controller. Install Service. And then click Filter on Device. Install Service. Unplug your controller and then plug it back in and it should be green. Yes, 8001. If yours appears red, these two solutions will definitely solve the issue. First solution, open Windows security. Next, turn off core isolation if it's on. Then restart the computer. If that doesn't work, go to your PC's BIOS and disable secure boot. Then it should definitely work. Comment if you encounter any issues, I'm here to help. If you found the video helpful, please like, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to leave your feedback below. Peace.